Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Skyblock series here on Chaos Craft. If you guys want to come check out the server, please consider using the custom IP royal.chaoscraft.org. As you guys can see in the top left right here, whenever you do use that IP, it does directly support me in the channel, so I greatly appreciate it. Now, uh, you guys might have actually already seen it, but in the last episode, we pretty much just checked out the server, checked out like all of the features that they offer. This is a brand new partnership, so I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know anything about the server, how to become overpowered or anything like that. That's what the series is about, and that's what we're gonna be learning. Hopefully in today's video, we actually make some steps towards getting a little bit richer. Now, I've already explained some of the things in the first episode, so if you guys missed that, you could go check it out. But right here, the sky base is really one of the most important things on the entire server. Now, the problem is you got to get a lot of stuff in order to upgrade your sky base in slash IS upgrades. But basically, this thing is your money making machine. All right. Every time it pulses, it spawns in more money for you. To get a better pulse, you keep continuously adding new crystals to it. The more crystals, the more money each pulse is going to give you. Now, I did go ahead and make one recruitment so far. I I am inviting people who are going to grind it, but it's like, I don't really know a lot about the server just yet. So I want to know what I want to look for in members and stuff. But right now I invited one guy. If we do slash IS, who is that a thing? Yep. Right here. We invited Repto Zone. I've known this guy from factions and he's actually been putting in some work on the island. Okay. If we come take a look, he has built an iron golem farm now i'm trying to think i do know what money's kind of used for like you can uh use the money on is upgrades and stuff and what you can also do oh my god slash shop you come over here to the black market and you can buy value blocks the reason why you want to buy these value blocks is because if we do slash is upgrades a lot of these upgrades require you to have a certain amount of vault value so right here if we want to add sapphire crystals to our sky base which again our sky base is basically our money making machine to to unlock the next tier of crystals you need to spend five million dollars which we have we have 78 mil but you also need a vault value of twenty thousand dollars and currently our vault value is not even 500 bucks jesus christ listen we're changing that in today's video okay now i do have a bunch of pouches and stuff just in my inventory i think i was farming some of the adventures off camera so we will grab like these keys and stuff um i'll probably open them off camera let's go ahead store these value blocks um it's not gonna be worth a whole lot bang um now we're at 660 dollars nice these are crystals oh this is a diamond value block right here bang deposit those and then these are crystals crystals i think the rest are straight crystals no gold blocks right here what are we at 4.4k which actually really isn't even horrible now someone did leave a comment on my last skyblock episode let me actually go read it real quick because apparently this was an is top number one member and he was sliding me some tips and i definitely need those okay so he said looting all of the chests and slash adventures is actually a good starting method which i've been doing because it gives you all the pouches and keys for island value iron golem silverfish and magma cubes are the top tier spawners for the main grinders you want to have so we already have an ig grinder i actually do have silverfish spawners but are silverfish spawners gonna work in this grinder because they fall through right here i mean i think they should work right i don't know what silverfishes are gonna drop oh my god the farm is full i actually didn't realize that i've already placed out all of my igs so we have 32 right here and another 12 in this stack repto built this grinder obviously we don't know like the super efficient grinders just yet we will figure that out later throughout the season but we should probably extend this yeah i can i already see ways to make this a little bit better he should have just put the hoppers on the other side it would have gave you a little bit more storage what the hell does he have a condensed one how are there blocks of iron in here listen i don't know but let me just sell a little bit of this because the farm is completely full right now bang there we go that way whoa that was only worth 2k whoa what are we smoking here pal oh a stack it's not selling all of it how the hell do i sell all of it oh condensed one all right, perfect. Shout out to Reptozone. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and condense all of this real quick, and then that'll be fine for right now. I'm also going to add these Onyx Crystals to our Sky Base real quick, because again, that's like the only crystal that we can actually apply. But continuing on with the comment, it says doing the Merchant, maybe some Slash Pass, which um the Star Pass. Repto has already told me about that. It actually gives you pretty good things, so we might be grinding that a little bit in today's episode. But I mainly want to focus on a farm that I can grind and just start becoming rich with, okay? Now, this guy right here in the comments suggests farm I mean pumpkins but i actually talked to one of the admins he suggested to make a sugarcane farm so i'm not sure what the difference between the two is because i mean a sugarcane farm is definitely a lot easier to build and i literally don't know who to listen to because i don't know anything about the server i don't really think it's gonna make you like a whole lot of money but i think it has a chance of giving you drops because in the last episode as well if we go into our pvs we should have a harvester tool somewhere in here ah okay yeah we actually have two so i can actually give one to repto i guess but you basically want to upgrade this and you want to 
to go for a certain enchant that's going to give you drops. So, oh, milestones actually. Hold on. I don't know what these milestones give you whenever you hit them, but you guys can see there's nether wart, sugar cane, carrots, all of this stuff, but I don't have any way of looking at the milestones. So, don't know what that's going to do, but upgrade. You can upgrade the efficiency, increase block break speed. Obviously, that's pretty decent. Gain more crops while farming. I'm not sure fortune's going to be good only because I don't know if you're actually going to sell the crops for money. But right here, I think gambler might be the way to go. You guys can see the maximum level of gambler is level 100 and it costs silver to upgrade but it says random chance of getting a special reward that could be crystals that could be value blocks i believe maybe even um some of these mine veins i haven't even started farming these ever let's go ahead and hit some of these do, do they really even give you anything i was kind of hoping that they would drop crystals oh wait what did we just get right there a jade crystal so they do drop crystals and we have some more crystals right over here those were sapphires yeah i think these could be decent oh my god i didn't realize how long they take to regenerate i was thinking these could possibly be the meta maybe there's a way to like upgrade your pickaxe to bring down the gen time or maybe it's in slash is upgrades i mean there's a vein limit but there isn't really i didn't see anything else about it i don't know there's so much stuff to learn on this new skyblock server again oh cobble generator ores or is this just for actual like real cobble gens with like lava and water and stuff i don't know bro i'm waffling let's go ahead sell all all of this iron i'm gonna make this collection system a little bit better hopefully they make us a decent amount of money because what i want to do is i want to buy some value blocks upgrade our safe so that way we can start working on that island upgrade for the sapphire uh crystals and i feel like that's gonna be like my most important goal right now so again how the hell do i grab are they just gonna make me grab it all one by one okay i guess we can do that because they're like glitching out of my inventory sell all bang three hundred sixty four thousand dollars right there i don't think that's too bad surely there's a way to like get a cell wand or something on here right like no way i'm gonna have to do this every single time there are some iron golem skulls if you guys don't know mob armor is a thing on here as well i know that this specific ig set if we do slash mob armor is going to give you a cell booster yeah 1.25x cell booster so we're definitely gonna have to get this eventually so we will hang on to those heads okay sold all of the chests i am gonna make this collection system a little bit better but we'll probably work on that off camera so right now we have 82 million dollars let's go ahead hop back into the black market one emerald value block is costing five million dollars but how much island value is this going to be worth? I'm going to go ahead and buy this thing. And we're going to see because we're at 4.4k right now. Boom. That got us to 6.4k. So it's about $2,000 per emerald block wow that is still super expensive i can't lie to you oh but if we come take a look over here repto has been on his absolute grind we do have some more value blocks right over here along with some more crystals and stuff but let's go ahead and grab all of these value blocks there's no point just letting it sit here we need to place these things immediately he also has a ton of onyx crystals again we will just take those and i think i got all the value blocks i think the rest of these are like crystals and stuff so boom let's go ahead and deposit these actual onyx crystals real quick bang there we go i don't know what that just got us oh uh, i unlocked level three of the star pass okay i guess we completed a challenge but now let's go ahead and add all of these blocks bang that's 7k right there add the iron please keep going up bro 20k 41 diamond blocks bang 20 1000 shout out to repto for grinding that out dude because now that just unlocked an island upgrade for us okay thank god that was actually a lot better now slash is upgrades we are going to be upgrading the sky base crystals upgrade all right it cost five million dollars a bang go ahead and start that upgrade um boom royal canine has started to upgrade sky base crystals to level one now i think it was like it's gonna take 20 minutes yeah okay so quick little 20 minutes isn't bad i'm gonna take a cut i'm gonna figure out which farm i should actually be making we're either going with the sugarcane farm or we're gonna go with a pumpkin farm i guess i do know you can make like an afk system for like the pumpkin farm where you just have like a bunch of mine carts just going around your entire farm but i'm not gonna i'm not the best with uh like the railroads and all that stuff so i think for right now i might just want to do like a manual grinder and i'm thinking sugarcane might be the best for that but let me see if i can talk to anybody on the server or oh, wait can we is warp to any islands here um oh okay wait slash is visit if we do slash is top atlas is the number one island if we is visit atlas can we get there okay don't have permission to teleport to points on this island i was to be expected usually the top islands aren't allowing people to tp in but let's try pony power bro i just checked like damn near every single top island bro and they are all not allowing visitors or maybe it's like a setting that they have to personally enable and they haven't enabled it i don't know dude i don't know how it works but i checked and i couldn't find anything so let me take a real quick cut and i will bring you guys back all right guys so i've done a little bit of research we are back and i was watching a video from another youtuber 
YouTuber on the server, Mr. Wuffles. Actually, like, mad throwback. He obviously used to own Cosmic. That's where I started my channel, basically. Pretty crazy. But I was watching one of his videos where he joined one of the top islands on the server. And in that video, they were talking about building a massive sugarcane farm. They already had auto melons. But the thing is, one, I don't know how to make an auto melon farm. I am not good with redstone and stuff. I'm sure Reptozone probably knows how to do it, to be honest. And if it's really way, way better, then I will figure it out as well. But for right now, we are going to start on a sugarcane farm, okay? Now, that research did take a minute, so let's come over here. Is the sky base ready? Okay, no, no, no. Still three minutes. Oh, wait, no. I'm, I'm talking about upgrades. Am I tripping? IS upgrades. Is the upgrade done? Five seconds. Wow. That is great timing, and we are going to be able to add 35 sapphire crystals right away. Boom. Your island upgrade is complete. Sky base crystals is now level one, so I think that means we can apply sapphires. Bang. And how much better did that get? So you guys can see now our next pulse is going to give us $930. Whenever we started this episode, we were getting $30 every single pulse, which is obviously not good. I don't know how you actually get silver in your pulses, but silver's used for upgrading a bunch of stuff. So that's going to be crazy if we could get that. So for the next upgrade, let's take a look at this thing. Skybase to get it to level two, we're going to need 30,000 vault value and $10 million and our chest size is gonna have to be level three. Oh yeah, this is gonna get mad annoying because you're gonna have to upgrade a bunch of like tedious things in order to get the upgrades for another item. I see how it's gonna work. So let's go ahead. I guess we'll just start upgrading the chest size. Bang, this costs $5 million because you wanna upgrade this pull. Oh wait, was that pull speed? No, no, no. You wanna upgrade the sky based crystals as fast as possible. But yeah, for right now, um, what Y are we currently at? We're at Y62. I think I'm just gonna go below us and build a massive sugarcane farm. It is probably gonna take a little minute to build i cannot lie to you but hopefully it ends up being worth and yeah this is y0 right here so we can go ahead and mine a couple more blocks up now we're just gonna build the sugarcane farm out of dirt for the most part so oh should i actually extend this all the way over here i'm not sure how big of a sugarcane farm you actually want dude like i don't want to go too od if i don't have to because again this is going to take a little minute to build but i guess we'll just start it off right over here so this is basically uh the design that we're just going to mimic throughout the entire thing i don't know if i built it too long because i don't know if you have have to like afk the crops for them to grow or like if you just need one alt on the uh entire island and it just like afks everything i don't know how the server fully works yet but this is basically what i'm gonna do we're gonna do this for a couple of blocks longer and then we'll probably just make layers on top of it so give me one second i'm gonna go ahead and build this entire farm up and i'll bring you guys right back finally we are done. We built just a couple layers because, again, I don't know how good the sugarcane farm is actually going to be. We're about to figure it out right now, but I think this is like a decent starting size. Oh, wait, is, uh, I think Reptozone might already be farming it low key. But anyways, we have our harvester tool right here. The farm is fully done and we did spend a little bit of money on the actual sugarcane and, oh my god, wait. Okay, so we don't automatically pick up the sugarcane with the harvester hoe. I'm not going to lie, that is mad annoying. It might be an enchant though if we look at upgrades efficiency efficiency is not going to matter whenever uh you're farming sugar cane obviously so we are going to skip that and then gain more crops while farming honestly i think sugar cane might have a chance to make a little bit of money i don't want to waste too much on it though if we do slash shop and we take a look here farming sugar cane does sell for 25 dollars per item which is not bad at all. Now, if we do look at pumpkins, they sell for 70 per item. But the thing is, with sugarcane, obviously, they grow to be three high. So, like, whenever you smack it, you get, like, two. And I think they grow faster than pumpkins. But on this server, they might just all grow, like, the same speed. But for right now, I still think that this could be a decent money-making method. And then Blitz. Chance of getting double drops for a short period of time. I do want a couple levels of this. You guys can see I have 337,000 silver, which is pretty decent. So, I think we'll get that to level five. Haste? I don't really think haste matters all that much. Investor chance of a 2XL multiplier for a short period of time. I'll get a couple levels of that, but once you're selling sugarcane, like, I don't think a 2X is really going to make biggest of differences. I think we're mainly going to dump most of our silver into the gambler enchant. Random chance of getting a special reward. It sounds good to me. So I'm going to dump a decent amount of silver into this. I mean, it is stacking up pretty fast, though. Level 10. I don't know how much silver we have left. Don't know what the milestones do. Toggles. Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, oh no, no, no. I was about to say this is useless. Auto pickup costs 15,000 silver, but that is exactly what I want. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't need this. Don't need auto sell either for 50,000 silver as well. Yeah, I will pass. I will definitely type it in. So now let's take a look at this thing because everything's going to be auto picking up. I want... Oh, Blitz activated. Double drops. All right. 
right? I didn't know it was gonna proc that often. Is it possible to really get like a max harvester hoe though? Because it is seeming like this thing is getting dumb expensive. But if you can actually get silver from your sky vault or like sky base, whatever the hell it's called, from like the pulses and stuff, maybe you actually start to stack up a crazy amount of silver and then you can really upgrade this thing. Because right now, all the silver that I have is from like the start of the world video whenever we open up those monthly crates. But I know you can get silver from like grinding adventures and stuff, getting silver pouches. Oh, and we already have a full inventory of sugarcane. Let's just go ahead, hit a sell all. That was worth 50k. Yo, realistically, obviously it doesn't sound like a lot, but I think that's kind of decent. And look at that. We just got a ruby crystal right there. So that is going to be the gambler enchant. Your gambler harvester tool enchantment has rewarded you with a ruby crystal. That is what I want to see. And really quickly, let's go over here to auto text key because I need to set up a sell all. This one is right here, but on this server, you can't have a space in between it. So boom, now that should work. There we go. Yo, low key, I'm excited. I am excited to keep working on this harvester tool and hopefully everything's gonna pay off and we just got a magma cube spawner from grinding this yo what yo magma cube spawners i think are like one of the best spawners on the entire server if we do slash shop and we take a look magma cubes are 3.7 million iron golems are 4.5 so it's literally right behind igs oh my god a large silver pouch from the gambler enchant rarity is legendary how much silver is this gonna give me 2.8k if we could get that often Dude, that is going to be so many upgrades right there. Okay, so actually, I kind of do want haste to be, like, infinite to where, like, my hoe doesn't even move. But I don't know if I have to upgrade to the maximum level to get that. And I don't know if I really want to spend all of my silver on it. I think we're just going to keep it on haste, too, for right now. And I think, literally, we're going to throw a couple more levels into fortune because it's still pretty cheap. Get to, like, level 10. Double drops could still be pretty decent. But I do want to spend, like, the majority on this gambler enchant. And it's already super expensive. I'm spamming it. Bang. How much silver is that going to leave us? leave us with 144k and i mean we'll get to level 25 and then i will hang on to the rest of my silver you guys let me know what you think i should do with it and really the only thing left to do is straight farm this i think we could stack up a little bit more money obviously we can get some rare rewards i might want to farm this for like 30 minutes we'll see all of the items that we get and i'll bring you guys back but before we do go ahead and do that i think i'm going to spend my money on straight value blocks so that way we can get this thing to 30k hopefully we can actually afford that we're going to hop over here to the black market and we're going to be spending a little bit of bread oh we actually can't spend a whole lot okay so eight blocks how much is this going to get us that okay that puts us at 40k but that is going to kill our balance. We are now down to 24 million. So we need to go ahead and hit some IS upgrades. We need to upgrade this chest size to level three. So that way we can get the sky base crystals to level two. Oh my God. And we actually can't even afford this upgrade. Okay. That is not good looks. Listen, I am going to go farm the sugarcane farm. We're going to get uh, a little bit of money. Hopefully we can win like some money pouches and stuff from the gambler enchant as well, because we are currently poor. So I'm going to go stack up some money. I will see you guys in one second. All right. So we have been farming for a decent amount of time i'm currently almost at 30 million dollars which is enough money to afford that next upgrade if i go ahead and do slash is upgrades real quick you guys already know exactly what we're upgrading we have to upgrade our uh chest size to level three and it costs 25 million dollars is bank we are going to deposit this money right now 25 mil which is still most of our balance but we need to get started on this asap is upgrades let's go ahead click this thing we meet all the requirements for it and it's only going to take 15 minutes that is perfect bang there we go now whenever this hits level three we are going to need how much money to get our sky base crystals we're going to need only 10 million dollars and if i look in my inventory right here we have a money note from repto zone my only island member currently he has 15 million dollars so we will claim that and that is going to pay for the next sky base crystals upgrade and in the meantime for those 15 minutes i guess we can just farm the sugarcane farm dude honestly if i go to my pv we've been going crazy Crazy with this thing pv4 you know we got some oh wait no i thought this is where i was storing all of my loot um it might be in here i'm assuming yeah got an ig spawner got two more magmas have some crystals right here we even have some value blocks have some more in my inventory as well we're getting money pouches from the gambler enchant they're only medium so let's open them um i mean honestly it's not that much money but i'm still gonna take it we do get large pouches as well this has a chance to be really good. 1.2 million is pretty solid. So I think that this sugarcane farm mixed with a harvester tool might be one of the best start of the world methods. Or if you guys are just beginners like I am, this is going to be a super easy farm to build upgrade. You can honestly sell your spawners as well. 
which is something I was thinking about doing because I think each magma cube spawner goes for around 3 million per. And right now, $3 million is a lot to me. And if I really sit here, grind this out for just a couple of hours, bro, we are going to have so much loot. So listen, slowly but surely, I am starting to understand the server a little bit more. Obviously, we still have a big ways to go. But in the next episode, I believe I'm going to be touring one of uh, IS Top's grinders. And that's going to help me a lot with understanding how everything is going to work as well. So for right now, I believe that's going to do it for this Skyblock episode. I'm about to start recording the next episode right after this. But as always, if you guys want to come check out the server, royal.chaoscraft.org. Come hop on. And yeah, drop a like, sub if you guys are new to the channel. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next episode of the Skyblock series where we should be making a ton of progress.